So by this point, pretty much everybody and their grandmother knows that Future Trunks is going to be returning on June 12, 2016, as it was recently reported by Herms on Twitter. And in this video today, I'm going to be doing more of a discussion on five reasons why I personally think that Future Trunks is returning. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. The very first thing that came to mind when I thought of Future Trunks being confirmed to return is the fact that he would return for the Omniversal Tournament. Now, if you think about it, Future Trunks is in another timeline, and I have described before that there's a difference between a universe and a timeline. However, with that said, with Goku and his team possibly going up against a significantly tougher team that might take place in this Omniversal Tournament, they're going to need more manpower and more firepower to combat that, which is one reason why I personally believe that's a reason they bought Future Trunks back, Moving on to my number two reason is he could potentially come back for a new potential villain. And I talked to Black and Fist about this yesterday. Dragon Ball Super seriously needs a new villain. Beerus was an antagonist, but not necessarily a new villain. Shampa, to some degree, was the same thing where he was an antagonist, but he wasn't directly trying to destroy the Earth. And we feel that we need a villain to actually make the series significantly more interesting and to add a lot more tension towards the series. And some people have pointed out the fact that Trunks has torn clothes, so that maybe that means he was involved in some sort of fight. I'm not gonna go and speculate about all of that, but I do think a villain is another reason. Now, the third reason I thought about it is he could simply be coming to visit. So, as we know, if you saw my alternate timeline theory before, I mentioned before that future Trunks the original Future Trunks, there's two Future Trunkses. The original Future Trunks was trying to make an attempt to tell the Z Fighters that he had defeated the androids before Cell basically killed him. The instance with this Future Trunks, however, could be the fact that he hadn't seen the Z Fighters in years. He might be trying to just simply say hello. But I personally don't think that's one of the main reasons and one of the weaker reasons, because I don't think he would come all the way back just to say hello when he could have done so during the many years that took place afterwards. The next thing is, is the fact that he will be a mainstay character. Now, I think this is interestingly enough because Toriyama hinted in that interview a while back about this whole Future Trunks thing, and that's what really took the internet by storm. And in my opinion, I think that if Future Trunks is to come back, I don't necessarily think that they would bring him back to just be a character that comes back for a few episodes. A character of his caliber can only return to be a mainstay character, which means that he might even be there throughout the rest of the Dragon Ball Super Series or for a huge portion of the Dragon Ball Super Series. And that's basically my fourth reason. And my fifth and most honest reason towards Future Trunks coming back is the fact that he's a cash cow and in Dragon Ball a lot of things really depend on the merchandise. Me and Geekdom have talked about this before. Shows really succeed by the level of merchandise being sold and if you have Future Trunks coming back in Dragon Ball Super that's going to significantly increase your amount of sales and in doing so you're going to make the show a lot more popular by bringing a, another popular character back and in addition to this this is also creating a level of maturity towards the series because goten and trunks you know although some people may be fans of them they're kids and there's only so much you could do with the element of a child character as opposed to having an adult character so i think it's really interesting looking at the image that was leaked Future Trunks has blue hair, which is taking a direct nod at the actual anime adaptation for Bulma, whereas in the manga, both Bulma and Trunks had purple hair. And I think it's going to be interesting to see Future Trunks interacting with everybody, especially the younger Trunks. And these have basically been my five reasons why I personally think Future Trunks will come back. So in the comment section below, I want you guys to tell me, you know, why you think Future Trunks is going to come back and your reasons for and such. So... Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys.